Mira cómo Jesús va tropezando, luchando solo por mantenerse en pie. La cruz está aplastando su hombro y las piedras afiladas en el camino cortan sus pies descalzos. A su alrededor la gente grita y empuja y los soldados romanos que han recibido la orden de crucificarlo quieren que se dé prisa. Jesús se esfuerza como puede por moverse más rápido, pero tropieza y cae. Jesús cae de rodillas con la cruz. Acércate a Jesús. Míralo tratando de levantarse. Él quiere seguir cargando con su cruz. Todo el mundo a su alrededor está gritando y empujándolo. Pero Jesús no se enoja. Él ofrece todo el dolor a su Padre Celestial por nosotros, porque Él nos ama. Entonces se pone de pie y camina hacia adelante. Piensa que lo abrazas. Susurra en nuestros corazones. Jesús, enséñame a amar como tú. Querido Jesús, si algo me duele hoy, recuérdame que puedo ofrecer mi dolor a Dios. No me dejes ser malo a cualquier persona que esté herido o que cometa errores, o a cualquiera que sea diferente a mí. Ayúdame a amar a los demás como tú nos amaste. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Look at that lady reaching out to Jesus from the crowd. She is his mother, Mary. She comes close and her face is full of tears. Tears are in Jesus' cheeks, too. You can tell how much they love each other. Look at Jesus and see a son who honors and respects his mother out of the great love he has for her. Jesus performed his first miracle because his mother expressed concern for the shortage of wine at a wedding. Although this man is the son of God and needs nothing, he still follows the father's command to honor his mother. But Mary is not allowed to stay close to Jesus, to say kind and loving words to him. They make her go away. Step up close to Jesus. He feels so sad to have his mother see him all bruised and beaten. 
He knows it makes her unhappy, but she is brave like him. She knows that he chose to carry the cross. And if that's what the Father planned for Jesus, she wants Jesus to do it. They are both willing to do what the Father wants them to do. Because they know that what their Father wants is always good for us. Whisper in our hearts, help me to always do what is good. Dear Jesus, when I have to be away from someone I love, help me offer my lonely feelings to you. Help me to do what God wants me to do today. Help me to respect those in authority. Help me to always do what is good and just. Hey, don't, don't do no, it was good. It was good. It was good. The fifth station. Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Look at the man helping Jesus carry the cross. This is Simon of Cyrene. He was on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem for the Passover feast when he was stopped and told to help carry Jesus' cross. At first, Simon did not like having to help Jesus. He thinks, why must I help this man? Who is he that the crowd so hates him? He has these doubts and questions because Simon did not know Jesus. But later, when he found out who Jesus was, he was proud that he had helped to carry the cross. Step up close to Jesus. See how Simon is trying to get a hold of the cross and carry it for Jesus. Simon is strong, but the cross is heavy, yet not too heavy. Jesus never asks us to do something we cannot do. Sometimes, when you have hard things to do, it is Jesus asking you to carry the cross, as he asked Simon. Try to think then, Jesus is making you strong. Whisper in our hearts, Jesus, I want to be proud like Simon that I helped you with your cross. Dear Jesus, make me strong when I have to do something hard. When I don't like to do something, do not let me push it off on somebody else. I don't really want to be singled out, but one look at Simon shows me the importance of helping my brothers and sisters. Help me to willingly and joyfully help others.
La sexta estación. Verónica limpia el rostro de Jesús. Te adoramos, oh Cristo, y te bendecimos. Miren a esa mujer parada delante de Jesús. La llamamos Verónica, una pobre mujer judía que ve amor en el rostro de este hombre. Se ha abierto paso entre la multitud para llegar a Jesús. Su gesto fue algo valiente, con toda esa gente ruda alrededor para asustarla. Ella no entiende cómo pueden mirar su rostro amable y amoroso y hacerle estas cosas terribles. Pero ella no piensa en ellos. Solo piensa en cómo ella quiere darle su pañuelo a Jesús para limpiarle la cara. Cuando Jesús se limpia la cara y se lo devuelve, se da cuenta que hay una imagen del rostro de Jesús en el pañuelo. Esta es la forma que Jesús le agradece el gesto de amor a Verónica. Acércate a Jesús. Piensa cómo, si los hombres pueden estar orgullosos porque Simón ayudó a Jesús, las mujeres pueden estar orgullosas porque Verónica también ayudó a Jesús. No importa quiénes seamos, lo que es importante para Dios es lo que hay en nuestros corazones. Lo más importante es que nuestros corazones sean buenos y bondadosos. Susurra en nuestros corazones. Jesús, imprime tu rostro en mi mente y en mi corazón, para que pueda aprender a ser cada vez más como tú. Querido Jesús, Déjame estar agradecido con las personas que me ayudan cuando necesito ayuda. Ayúdame a hacer cosas amables por otras personas, incluso si no obtengo ninguna recompensa. Jesús, basaste tus palabras y acciones en la caridad y en el mayor bien para los demás. Ayúdame a ser amable y generoso. The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Look at how hard it is for Jesus to walk. He feels weak and shaky. He has had nothing to eat or drink. 
and he hurts all over. But the soldiers won't let him stop and rest. They keep pushing at him to walk faster. He tries, but again he falls down in the dirty street and the heavy wooden cross falls on top of him. Step up close to Jesus. Stoop down to where he has fallen in the street. He is out of breath and very tired. It would help if he could just lie there a minute, but he gets up and tries walking again. You were not there when all this happened, but remember what you do or say to Jesus now counts as if you had been there. Whisper in our hearts, Jesus, thank you for showing me how to always get up and to keep going. Dear Jesus, when I try to do something and mess it up, help me to start over again as you did. If somebody falls down or gets hurt, let me feel for them and help them if I can. The eighth station, Jesus meets the weeping women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Look at the women of Jerusalem who are standing at the corner of the street where Jesus is passing. When Jesus draws near, they fall to their knees, sobbing, in weeping for him. They feel sorry for him and say loving words to him. They are weeping because they have been touched by the immense love and compassion of Jesus. Jesus has never given them worldly goods, but he offered his love, his mercy, his hope, and now, his life. He tenderly reaches out to them. Even now, in his pain, he doesn't think of himself, but stops to comfort them. He tells them that he will feel better if he knows they will always be kind and gentle toward everyone for love of him, and if they will teach their children to do the same. They are good women. They will do what Jesus asks. Step up close to Jesus. Listen when he talks to these women. It is hard to behave well when you are sick or feeling bad. It takes much courage to be unselfish like that. But Jesus does not think of himself. He thinks only of being kind to these ladies. Whisper in our hearts, Jesus, help me to be thoughtful of others as you are. Dear Jesus, show me how I can help others and make them happy. Teach me to share what I have with others and to not always try to keep the best of everything just for myself. Help me to think beyond my possessions and to think about things that bring joy to others.
La novena estación. Jesús cae por tercera vez. Te adoramos, oh Cristo, y te bendecimos. Miren a Jesús ahora. Camina cada vez más despacio. Ha estado a punto de ser golpeado hasta la muerte y ya ha caído dos veces. Los soldados desean que se dé prisa. Temen que toda la gente emocionada mirando a Jesús y gritando puedan causar un motín. Jesús está tan cerca, apenas puede respirar. Da varios pasos más y luego cae en la calle sucia por tercera vez. Acércate a Jesús. Está tendido en el suelo. Es muy difícil para Jesús moverse, pero se pone de rodillas y se empuja hacia arriba de nuevo. Él sabe que tiene que seguir adelante y se pone de pie. A Jesús no le gusta este dolor. En su humanidad le gustaría deshacerse de él. Pero él no puede detenerse ahora si quiere hacer lo que nos ayudará. Y él quiere. Comenzó este Via Crucis por Dios y por nosotros. Y él quiere terminarlo. Susurre en nuestros corazones. Jesús, eres un héroe. Querido Jesús, si soy lento y la gente me apura, ayúdame a no enojarme. Ayúdame a ser amable con todo el mundo, porque cada uno de nosotros necesita ayuda a veces. Cuando falle, por favor, dame la fuerza y el coraje para seguir levantándome y continuar. Ayúdame a seguir adelante cuando los tiempos son difíciles y cuando sería más fácil rendirme.
The tenth station. Jesus' clothes are taken away. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Look at Jesus. He is outside the city of Jerusalem now and standing on a hill called Calvary. The soldiers are going to crucify him here. One of them is pulling off Jesus' clothes. The clothes are sticking to Jesus' sore back. It hurts when they are pulled off. It is a suffering that is unimaginable to us. A pain that disfigures his holy face. But throughout these moments of excruciating pain, he is thinking of you. Step up close to Jesus. He stands there without his clothes. He is like a wrestler or a boxer who takes off his ordinary clothes so he can fight better. Jesus is getting ready for a fight also. He is fighting against sin and death. He wants to win the fight. He wants to make it possible for all of us to have a life that lasts forever in heaven. We are on Jesus' side and want him to win. Whisper to him in our hearts, Jesus, I am cheering for you. Dear Jesus, keep me strong in the battles I will have to fight to be good and true to you. Let me never forget that I can pray for your help when I am at Mass. Help me to share the gifts God has given me with those who need them. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Look at Jesus. He has been laid flat down on the cross. One soldier takes spikes and hammers them through Jesus' hands. After Jesus' feet also are nailed, the soldiers fix the cross into a hole so it will stand straight. Everybody stands around and looks at Jesus. The good people feel unhappy because they love Jesus. The people who don't love him are unhappy too because they have done evil. It was a very sad day. That first Good Friday. Step up close to Jesus. He hurts all over. His head aches. He is thirsty. But in his heart, he is not sad like the people. He knows that what he chose to do was the right thing. Now, he looks down at the men who nail him to the cross and he forgives them. Then he tells Mary to be a mother to all of us and to count us as her children. He keeps thinking of others even when he is dying. He gives us the gift of his mother. Whisper to him in our hearts, Jesus, I love you. Dear Jesus, 
When somebody hurts me, help me to be forgiving and help me to live so Mary will be proud to count me as her child. Jesús muere en la cruz. Te adoramos, oh Cristo, y te bendecimos. Mira a Jesús colgado en la cruz. Lleva allí tres horas. Le duele todo el cuerpo. Tiene mucha sed pero nadie le trae agua. También tiene sed de almas. Pero Jesús no se queja. Ora a su Padre Celestial y le dice que ha terminado lo que había que hacer. Inclina la cabeza y muere. Un soldado clava una lanza en el costado de Jesús. Sale sangre y agua. Una señal de que Jesús lo dio todo. Muchos desearían haberlo conocido antes para haber vivido sus vidas conforme a su camino. Todavía tienes esa oportunidad. Acércate a Jesús. Está muerto en la cruz. Todo esto lo sufrió porque Él quería sofocar la muerte y darnos vida eterna. Ha encontrado la muerte y la vencerá, pero aún no parece así, su cuerpo está tan quieto como si la muerte hubiese ganado, pero no es así. Jesús dijo una vez que Él era la vida, le dijo a todo el mundo que si esperaba tres días después de su muerte, él les mostraría que la vida había ganado la batalla. Susúrrale en nuestros corazones. Jesús, creo que nos das vida eterna. Querido Jesús, no importa dónde esté, cuánto tiempo vivo o lo que me pasa, Déjame estar siempre agradecido que moriste por mí. A la hora de tu muerte, te miraré y veré tu amor, tu esperanza y tu misericordia. Amén. 